have been a fatal blunder. Yeah, as but it keeping, turns keeping the rook on the is back it, rank yeah, and trying. Yeah, to and, and and what he wants is um, he wants to put uh, his um, knight in on f4. That's that's his main idea. Yeah. With several threats. With a lot of threats. And that looks like a good move to me. Yes, yeah, so how do you defend against knight f4? Um. Exactly at this moment, mm. I don't have a good, good idea. Rook f8 looks like an excellent move. Also, black has several uh, what I, I, I would call improving moves, um, like h6 is an improving move, just mm. giving uh, a bit of space. But can white, let's say, he can always bail out here with queen c2 or...? Um, yeah, maybe he can do queen c2. Queen e3 check. I, I don't know. Maybe he could do it. Maybe he could do it. But uh, but I mean, it's not really the... I mean, you, you do it if it's necessary. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like what you want to do. No, no. no. Oh, that's interesting. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm not quite... I'm not quite sure. I, I I was getting excited about White's prospects, and yes. after seeing this move, I'm thinking again that uh, you know that maybe um, maybe Black Black is doing fine. Yeah. There are some these tactical difficulties. I mean, you you want to play a move like knight g5, but it just simply doesn't work because of um, queen takes d4 check. And everything falls apart. And everything falls apart, so we, uh, you're just getting mated here. And after this, queen e5 check, so... Yeah. Um, you could play queen g3, mm -hmm. actually. So looks like be, for play, the moment could, Wesley could, could, could play Queen G three and that's actually an interest that's actually an interesting he's played Queen C Dukian. Mm. You're ready for the world championship? You're <laughs> but 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 it's the chickening out world championship. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I I feel you're playing about 28.30 or something. To yeah, <laughs> I lost some points recently. <laughs> yeah, well yeah. done. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, but as I said, it, it's not the move you... You're yeah, but uh, maybe, maybe, that's, maybe that's it. You've got your rook on the, on the mm. seventh. And your problem is that uh, if you don't do something like this, you may just get, ma you may just get yeah. mated. So... Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and the rook on c7 is is awkward. In an end game, it's going to be super awkward. Yeah. And we shouldn't forget to look at the times, Nigel, because there's no. Yeah. We, we're not playing with increments. We shouldn't forget that. Right. Which is uh, different from most tournaments these days. Yep. And how are they doing? Oh, uh, so. Uh, Let's see. So this is... Yeah, I'm not sure. That's the time spent on the move. Not quite sure, because I can't see it on this monitor. Mm. Yeah, it's something we need to check in the next break, yeah. because and I can't see it. And another thing yeah. connected to the, ru uh, to the um, rules that I want to say is, because there's a question from Samir Kul Karni, and he says, if no draws are allowed, uh, it's it's not that draws are not allowed. It's it's draw offers. Draw offers is a very big difference. Yes, you're, n you're not allowed to speak, so you cannot offer a draw. But if there's yeah. if there's a position that is a, a technical draw, then you can call the arbiter. Or is is that right? Is that mentioned? I think so. I think isn't that a logical part of the rules? I, it well, wasn't mentioned at the players meeting yesterday. Just well, that no, you, and what tends to happen is that people 
I just, think the they, they, said that uh, if, if there's a, a technically drawn position, but of course, well, the uh, the, the number of those are not. I that mean, big. normally they just, if it's absolutely dead drawn, they just contrive a, a threefold repetition. That's usually what happens in those circumstances. Yeah, but I, I think these days they are a bit uh, more flexible. Right. There. Okay. They, okay. Yeah. But we are not uh, there yet. Yep. Ah, so uh, shall we um, do the quiz? Because I yeah, let's do the quiz. I um, announced yeah, it, this so is, I this should. This is the the highlight of the day. So we're going to do the um, the new and chess quiz, where you can win a one year subscription to New and Chess magazine, the best chess magazine in the world, both on uh, paper and. <laughs> For your tablet or phone yeah. or whatever yeah. you want. Um, uh, the the queen. So the queen's actually came off king g8. It's a good move because uh, Wesley So keeps rook f7 as a defensive option. B6, h6 here. And um, interesting little sequence of moves. Is this good enough? Check. And now he takes. Takes, takes. And it's a pawn. And it's a <coughs> pawn, but the king has come in. And it looks like he's probably just in. Is he in time for a draw? It looks like he's going to be in time for a draw because. To get that pawn. Uh, well, he just is starting to harass him with knight um, knight c4 check, knight b2, and and and, and, and uh, this knight is very very poorly placed. The, unless the, the white knight, white knight mm, unless yeah. it goes to a5, which oh, that's an interesting point. Knight a5. So Magnus Carlsen is a pawn up, but yep. um, yeah, we no, still no, 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 no. It's uh, that the knight a5 still uh, keeps keeps the game going because uh, it's because it stops yeah, knight yeah, c4, c4 which check. is yeah, a, which a very essential. Yeah. yeah, disturbs. I mean, he starts going round with checks and uh, yeah. uh, you know d d attempting to drive the king away. So um, it's close. It's close. Um, you mean close to winning? It's close to winning, you know, but uh, it's somewhere between a win and a, a draw. So I'm hedging my bet. As, uh, <laughs> then so we have the subtle play of Levener. Three serious and probably lost. Yeah. So um, knight here, which is um, unfortunately for Magnus a passive move, and this knight has come in again. And actually, the, the this is very good because it um, the, the 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 knight then uh, it has these possibilities to disturb the king this way. And that's so the great thing that there are two squares. That, yeah, there that are two squares. Use. So he so Magnus covers one of them, and the knight goes back, and uh, knight b3, and this feels like. A draw. Uh, still, some small chance, but uh, it feels like uh, he's not going to be able to coordinate. King c4, knight c5. He still keeps some some little trick there, but um, because that yeah, that, then you cannot you, take you, the pawn. Yeah, pawn. and probably even that is a, a draw. King takes and, and King e5 is is, is probably well, also a draw. Let's show, uh, let's yeah, show it. Yeah. Well, okay, I'm not I'm not suggesting the the most no, just uh, to, to the, get the some most, ideas. The most intelligent um, way to play, but I think uh, you know even a position like this uh, should just be drawn. Uh, two against one uh, is not not going to be yeah. a win here. It's too little material. All black has to do is to eliminate um, those those pawns. Yeah. 
So uh, it, 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 it looks as if Wesley So has defended well enough, uh, which we, is uh, not surprising. He doesn't lose many games, as no, we, no, we, no. we know. Um, no, he uh, uh, had a, a, a non-losing streak of 67 games uh, at the highest level, which is, well, which is quite incredible. Yeah, I think that started somewhere at the Sinkerfield Cup, so it included yeah. the Sinkerfield Cup and London and Wagenze and, and the Olympiad and, and uh, the Olympiad. He was, yeah, yeah so he, he, was, he was great at the Olympiad. Yeah, it was really good there. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's um, uh, have but a look. If he draws this, it is. I think it's good for his confidence. Oh, it's very too. good for his confidence. Yeah, yeah I think. Um, now let's have a look what happened. Pawn up. He cannot possibly lose. He has a very small chance of, of winning. So, he but, but so, so he's got nothing to, you know, nothing to gain by, uh, you know, stopping uh, at this point. Uh, you know, uh, at the so same time, Wesley. Well, apparently, he. he well, he's. He, he's not getting nervous by No, no, I don't. He, I, no, 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 no. You know, and I mean, and, and it wasn't the other, the other yeah, way. and um, you know, even a, a, you know, even I would be confident of drawing this a, against Magna. So you know, it's it, it's too simple, too simple a position yeah. uh, to be uh, seriously concerned. So that looks uh, like. Heading for a draw, uh, Aronian Karawana. That's ah, he played knight c4. Yeah, so we'll and the king has has edged over, mm. and uh, I guess uh, Magnus is trying to bring his king over to h4. If he gets his king up to h5, it's it'll be a different story, but. Um, uh, it, it isn't going to happen. The knight is coming into to e3 yeah. at uh, some. It it's it's rather drawn. Yeah, you would have to make uh, more than one mistake oh, yeah. to, uh, well, to lose. Well, I mean, you, 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 well, one you, big one would be enough. But yeah, one <laughs> big one would be enough. But you'd have to make uh, yeah certainly more than one inaccuracy. That is definitely the case. Yeah. So let's um, just see how long Magnus wants to prolong that game. So uh, we've got um, um, Kramnik. Um, and the f one of Nigel's favorite themes is that stalemate should not be a draw. Yeah. So um, The number of people who say, oh, he's got knight g6 check. We're going to have stalemate. I want to see a stalemate here. You're going to get your stalemate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or they might even agree to a draw. You never know. No, no, no. He's gone back, and so he's not. Uh, no, he's not. He's not taken that. So he's he's. Yeah. So we're waiting for uh, Vladimir Kramnik and or Sergei Kayakin. Yep. Um, but who knows? Another game might finish before that happens. The best uh, shuffling towards uh, the subjects which could become politically charged. Ah, look, okay. took his time to take, then he took. Magnus plays h4. Of course, they both know this is a draw, but yeah. can't hurt to check. Because yeah. if you go here, you might lose. You Not that Wesley you is ever going to do yeah. that. Yeah, and Magnus will now uh, try to win their position by playing he played king of three, and I guess right. there's more than one move that makes a draw here. But yeah, but the mm -hmm. easiest one is what what Wesley is doing. Just keep a uh, keep a far position here, and can you go here? Probably can. Yeah. I always like the very far opposition better mm -hmm. than the close enough opposition. Yeah. Shouldn't matter a great deal, but both should draw. Yeah. King e three. You you have to go king e seven, I assume, but. It really isn't very, very difficult from here. <coughs> king d3, king d7, king c3. 
But we can play king e6 here. Mm, your point is here we queen? Yeah, here we queen. Yeah. That would be a mistake. <coughs> that would be a mistake, but that's unlikely to happen, so... So we need to find some... King e6 uh, is, is good enough. Gegenfelder. <laughs> what are you doing to me, problem? Not king d7 first. King c3, and now king e6 creates a threat of king e5. You have to go king d4, and we get the uh, position again. And we're back. Hang on, is there still action here? What are these crazy kids doing? Uh, not not a lot, no. I don't think you can. E5, no. I don't think you can fairly describe this as action. They're just not allowed to offer joy in this tournament, so they are playing everything out. But maybe five is playing for a win. Well, he, he might win the. Uh, yeah, even this, but I think there are cleaner ways of doing exactly the same. Yeah, but it's going to end peacefully. Every day of the week. Mm. Yeah, so we are left with uh, pretty much only the Hikaru game. Everything did we mention this officially? I ended? did, I did uh -huh. say on air that this ended in a draw, yeah. Wesley is either getting a new score sheet or the game is over. I'm going with no new score sheet. Magnus does not make a draw here yet. Oh no, the game is over. I was wrong. Yeah, not much else to try. Interesting. Well, okay, I guess it's not very hard to calculate, but still interesting decision. He was very sure of himself to go for the pawn and game. Well. It is one of the better known pawn endings where you draw a, a not one against zero pawn down pawn endgame. Right. Because, yeah, generally you try to avoid those because why would you subject yourself to them? But in this case, no, no real reason to. The chat has switched to discussing TV shows. So let's give some quick opinions. I watched all of the episodes of 13 Reasons Why, even though I think they're for teenagers, really. But I'm very immature, so I kind of enjoyed it, good acting. But it, I felt like it might glorify suicide a teeny tiny bit. Maybe not ideal for mentally fragile teenagers. I tried to watch the first episode of Taboo. Didn't make it through, looked like. Really? It was just Tom Hardy making funny faces, mumbling funny stuff. And I just thought, I can't, I can't watch 12 episodes of this. Hmm. Did you like it? I haven't started yet, no. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I don't have a fixed opinion, therefore, but, uh, yeah. We probably will watch The American Gods once we are done recapping this exciting round. Yeah, we have four episodes in, independently, so we have two to go. Mm, I'm not sure I like American Gods yet. I like the visuals, I like Ian McShane. I'm not sure I yeah, like what's actually happening. Yeah, I'm, it's I'm, not that important. I'm not entirely convinced yet, but we, I mean, we'll see. It's uh, and I'm I'm sort of uh, my my default setting is uh, very favorable because I I really like Neil Gaiman as a writer. I wrote, read many many of his books, including the the one this is based on. Although that was a long time ago. I could be wrong, but didn't Neil Gaiman co-write something with Terry Pratchett? You did some research, that's not fair. There's no way you could have known that. <laughs> like, there's just no way you could have known that. It's actually very good and there mm -hmm. should be, I think they're making a TV series out of that. It's called The Omens. The Omens? Good, good Omens, sorry. Good Omens. Good Omens, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, the book is very, very good and uh, if they don't spoil it very much, I think it should be excellent. Mm -hmm. sounds, sounds tempting. Is it fantasy or what's the genre? If you have to pigeonhole it somehow, it is fantasy, but yeah. It is also fantasy that we will get a decisive game today. We are left with our boy Anish Giri, mm, who is still slightly worse, but I have a feeling he's going to hold. Hikaru has not made a lot of progress, now he's trying to put his pawns. I don't know. Does he want to go f4? Probably not yet. I'm not sure. In regards to that 